the direction of your gyro, which is now mounted in such a way that it will stay there forever and ever. Look at that spin angular momentum. It has no respect for me. It stays in the same direction, no matter how I move. What could I say? The outer housing makes rotation in order to keep this thing pointing at the same direction. This is the basic idea behind inertial guidance systems. At least in the days that the guidance system had mechanical wheels. That spinning wheel is mounted in such a way that you cannot put a torque on the axis of rotation of the spinning wheel. The direction of the spin angular momentum will not change. Gyros. It has no respect for me stays in the same direction, and I want to show that to you. It has no respect for me. It stays in the same direction, no matter how I move. That's the way it's mounted. We call it three axles gimbaled gyros. A spinning gyro has two important properties, precession and rigidity in space. As for rigidity in space, the gyro maintains its axis in relation to space and not to the surface of the earth. Let's just replay that part and let it really sink in what he's saying. The gyro will maintain its position in space no matter whereabouts on the earth it is. Consider this condition, known as apparent drift. The gyro maintains its attitude while the earth turns under it. Every six hours, the gyro drifts through 90 degrees in relation to the earth's surface. So if you spin up a gyro, then what this video is saying is that Six hours later, um, you will perceive the gyro to have rotated 90 degrees. The gyro will maintain its position in space no matter whereabouts on the Earth it is. For you as the observer have um, rotated through 90 degrees um, during those six hours due to the rotation of the Earth. So in theory, after a certain period of time, depending on your latitude on the Earth, um, the gyroscope should appear to, to rotate uh, and then after 24 hours it should return to its original position so hi folks this is a follow-up to my first gyro video where I performed a couple of experiments to see if I could replicate the work of Leon Falkor back in 1852 where he proposed that a spinning gyroscope can demonstrate the spin of the Earth below us. So what gyroscopes really do is, is they have a rigidity in space, okay? Now, you can buy a gyroscope. People have used gyroscopes for years. 
um, gyroscopes that are precision machine that will run for a long, long time, 20, 30 minutes, you know, on a spin. They also have them now uh, where you can use little electric motors externally to spin them up to around 8,000 RPM. So Foucault allegedly did an experiment where he and his cheesy 200-year-old um, gyro, supposedly, he was able to spin it up and actually see precession in the gyro, which would have indicated and proved motion, angular motion most specifically, uh, brought about by the rotation of the Earth. Well, that's all fine and dandy, except that everybody that has performed this experiment since he's done it, and with far better equipment, has failed to, to get any results that even remotely come close to what Foucault claimed that he had. Um, a good example, Rob Durham bought an extremely high precision gyroscope did the precession test, guess what? Uh, and he had calculated the precession based on his latitude, and of course the gyroscope did not move at all. There is another guy, uh, Yeoman P, that uh, here's his video, where he let it run for six hours, and it detected absolutely zero motion. Well, a lot of people came back and their debunks was, well, the gyroscope simply was not uh, uh, sensitive enough to measure this this movement of the earth which is of course ludicrous because if Foucault could do it you know uh, several hundred years ago with his cheesy gyroscopes um, the notion that we couldn't replicate it today with high-end uh, you know 21st century engineered gyroscopes and also we have the advantage of motors which will keep that uh, gyro spinning continuously and we still cannot duplicate it uh, that tells me that Foucault lied that's just spinning up there now, you might be able to hear it. Now, even at this low speed, the gyroscope will hold its position. See that? Okay, so what we want to do, line it up. Okay, so that's six hours. No movement whatsoever. Uh, as the video has shown, no one's tampered with it, touched it, gone anywhere near it. So what I'm going to do now is move the protractor underneath it and simulating the movement of the earth, just showing you that it's not fixed or glued or whatever other craziness you think oh, I might be pulling. So, can you make this? Yeah, I'll make it. I'll make it. Okay. So there you see, if anything below it was moving, it would maintain its position with rigidity in space. And we started it off there for six hours and we have no movement whatsoever. Look at that spin angular momentum. It has no respect for me stays in the same direction no matter how I move.